Hello, testing. Looks like this is working. So today I am working on Main Street. Main Street is a free-to-play uh, multiplayer RPG tycoon game uh, that can be played in browser. And we're going to be launching on my website, riverforgegames.com. Uh, when it's ready, right now it's in alpha. And let me know if you want to follow along. We'll be doing an alpha test this weekend. Uh, today I'm working on uh, continuing the new fishing feature. Uh, what I need to do is I need to get the fish to spawn and then you know behave in ways that we can later catch them. So what I started doing is uh, wherever there's water, I put in these um, these regions. So like here you can see there's shallow water, normal water, and then. Here is a uh, deep water, and this is just an example. This is probably all going to be shallow water later, and I'm going to have to do some map updates so that we can get normal and deep water in later, because this is uh, the deepest thing that you can access as a player right now. So we're going to have to change the map so that people can get out to some deeper areas and make things a little more interesting. And I'll probably be working on that today, but what I want to do right now is get into some of the do, 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 some of the spawning behaviors here. So I'm working on. Let me mute Discord because I'm getting blown up right now. Please turn it down. Okay. I'm working on um, just figuring out where everything can be spawned right now. So um, I have to get the water tiles from the regions. So let's see. Uh, so I just uh, redid the water tiles so that they all fall under water. So that's going to be tile, environment, ground. No, not ground. Tile environment. Water is going to be the type that I'm looking for. Um, anything falling under that type will qualify. And then we will check what region it is. So what we want to do, get dives by region. And let me look at the resources for that so I see exactly what I need to do. And guys, if you have any questions about the game or what I'm doing, please let me know. I'm working with the Velocity game engine, which is really cool, but it can be a little hard to get started with, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. So get the by right region. So it wants a uh, type containing the type of region and then the type of the dive. Okay. So that means that I want to start with the region, which is uh, going to be region fishing and then it's going to be the spawn region type or actually it's just going to be this type so this um, is all under region fishing and then it should be the specific type so it could be shallow water normal water or deep water so it'll for any water uh, in that region and let's see, do I want to include child diabs? Uh, include... So yes, I do, but that's true by default. This is, this is what I'm looking at right here. Uh, map, I only use one map right now, so that's fine. Um, let's see, returns an array of diabs in the region on all loaded maps or on the map specified. Okay, so perfect. So then I just check if there are any spawnable tiles. So if there's no spawnable tiles or spawnable tiles, let's see, or not spawnable tiles length, uh, then we'll back out. So then at that point, we should know that we're ready now. We have spawnable tiles. This is a collection or an array and we can loop through them. And what I really want to do is just pick a random one and spawn a fish in it. So, tile to spawn is going to be, this is going to be the tile that we spawn a fish at. And let's open up these resources again, and let's look at what random functions we have. 
So there's math.random, which returns a random decimal value. Thanks for the tweet, Torto. You put spawnables tiles. Um, thanks. Appreciate it, Ark. All right, that's fixed. I only put it in one place, right? Let me check, actually. Okay, yeah, just one spot. Awesome. You're looking out for me. I appreciate it. Uh, that could have taken me an hour later to figure out. That's one thing that's getting me with Velocity is uh, I normally use, uh, you know, strong type languages where if I typo anything, I get a, you know, a big squiggly line in it and it holds my hand. And um, working with Velocity, which is uses Viscript, a fork of JavaScript, you got to be careful. They can take forever to compile. That's true. That's true. I mean, my last professional job that I was working with WinForms um, using .NET Framework, it took, oh, I mean, it took like a nice computer, two or three minutes to compile. Um, but it was a big project, so it makes sense that it did. But you're right. All right, let's see. So tile to spawn. Sometimes I'd rather it take longer to compile and less time to figure out, but um, there's so many strengths to it. It's, that's why I'm using it. So tile to spawn, we're going to look at our randoms. So I think I want math.rand. Uh, let's see. It's going to return a number between them. Okay. So we'll do math.rand. And we want it between zero and the length, the limit. Let's see. The console in Vilo actually shows you if you type out anywhere when you get an error. That's true. Um, usually, usually it does. Sometimes they can be hard to track down and you have to put in this, um, this a special tag that you can put in that helps. Uh, I think it's under notes, code tags. Um, da, 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 disable debug. So sometimes you just get a function name and you know there's a problem in the function name, but if you disable debug and you just let it error itself out, then it'll be more clear. Yeah, I, us I usually have debug enabled, and then if it doesn't give me what I'm looking for, then I disable it. Okay, let's see. So then I want to go spawnable tiles. Let's see. Uh, length minus one, and then we're going to add one probably and do math.floor. I think that's going to get us what we want because I'm pretty sure math.rand is going to give me decimal numbers. I don't need a semicolon. So let me make sure that's correct. Math.floor. Yeah. Um, oh, the only problem with that is if I add one, then I'm never going to get zero, and I actually do want zero. So let's do like this. Random does, does rand not? Does, is rand inclusive? Let me see how I use it elsewhere. I know I use it somewhere else. Uh, let's just search for it. Rand is just whole numbers. Well, if rand is just whole numbers, then what is this? <laughs> Maybe it's just whole numbers if I pass whole numbers. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it, it looks like where, where I'm using it in other places, it's whole numbers and it's inclusive. So I don't need to do all that fancy stuff. So we'll just do between rand, between uh, 0 and length like minus 1. The documentation, though, honestly, has gotten so great. Um, there's definitely more that I'd like to see with it. It'd be really nice if there was, if we could edit it ourselves and, and add stuff in. You know, maybe that that just needed approval. Uh, but it, it's come, it leaps and bounds from where it's been. Let's see. So tile spawn, awesome. And let's see from here. Now I would need a random fish and I've already got my allowed fish types. Um, so then we're going to do our fish to spawn equals 
Math dot ran. Uh, oh, and this is just a number, actually. So what I really want to do is, um, before I get too far, I want spawnable tiles and pass it that number. And this is going to be this allowed fish types. And we're going to pass it another number, which is going to be between zero and this allowed fish types length minus one. Okay, cool. So then I just need to do a new diob and I'm rusty right now. So I'm just going to make sure that I get a reference of how I was doing it before. And let's look in the resources as well. Okay, so I can go... So I'm going to need a custom constructor to tell it the location for the fish. Okay. So let's go and do that now. We just want a function... Actually, no. Because this is internal, we just want on new. I believe. And here, we'll, we'll define arguments. And we'll do a... P diab and it's gonna take that location. It's gonna take a diab and then do the location. That's not how I usually do it though, so let's be consistent. My on news usually take a location, so we'll do it like that. And let's just copy it from this one. Detail. Yeah, um, I could. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that, that my constructors for all of them are always the same. Um, reliability and consistency helps me. So I just want to be consistent with how I'm handling it. I know eventually I'll need to support multiple maps, but for now, right now, it's just map one uh, is how I'm doing it. So I don't need to pass that, at least not yet. Uh, let's see. So then I just need to pass the die application when I create it. So we're going to do our spawn fish equals new diob. And we'll pass it tile to spawn. Let's see. And we want to pass it the X chord and Y chord. I think. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, the fish isn't going to show up anywhere near where I expect it to. Okay, now I need to add this um, because I'm expecting there to be... Let's see... Oh, this doesn't make any sense. Chord is not the same as its position. Um, yes. But I'm calling set loc. And I'm pretty sure that set location is looking for a chord and not a position. Um, so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't really say. It doesn't really say. Okay. Who are you so wise in the ways of velocity? I've been working with velocity off and on since like January. Ishuri, you're Ishuri. Oh, well, that makes. Yeah, okay, I understand now. <laughs> I understand now. You don't need to explain it further. Well, I appreciate you joining me. Oh, uh, let's see. So, I have a meeting in 30 minutes and I'm going to have to dick out to go there. Um, but I'll be streaming again after that at some point tonight. Let's see. So spawn fish. That should be good. That should be good. Oh, but right. So what's going on here? I obviously did this completely wrong. Um, so I, th okay. I shouldn't have declared that here. 
So live fish is an array that I'm going to add the fish to. Okay, I just need a different one. We're going to do fish count. Live fish count. How about that? My code is clean. You think so? I think my code is a mess. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's see. And this needs to be this dot live fish mostly. Yeah, well, it's a small code base. Uh, it's a pretty small code base. Um, the messiest parts of it come from when I ported it from beyond. Um, I like to think that some other pieces of it are pretty, pretty clean, but I don't know. This doesn't look clean to me. It doesn't feel clean, but I have seen, I have seen some, uh, Teradal code and, um, it's, it's hard to follow. It's hard to follow. Um, i mostly for naming name variable names and stuff for me, but you know, I think it's just from being a different person. So fish count. No, no. Fish count. Okay, so this live fish. Okay, so that's going to be this, this. Perfect. Okay. Sometimes I wish there was a modifier to declare that something was local. Like if I could do local dot fish count and then just give every variable a modifier because sometimes looking at them without this in front of them just bothers me. <laughs> uh, let's see. So spawn fish and then we're going to do... Auto assume local. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, if the global exists? I didn't know that. I did not know that. Let's see. That makes sense, though, for scoping. If you declare, uh, yeah, local, that's also a... That makes sense. Let's see. So then I want to do... Live, this. That live fish. Push. Spawn fish. And that should be good for spawning. Um, I can't remember if I started calling this though. Okay, yes I did. This is already calling on the ticker. So... I'm gonna do something over here. I'm going to put... I don't have a mob to find. Okay, I made the fish die up. So I'm probably gonna make these mobs actually. Probably gonna make the mobs, but let's... Let's put one here, just static, and then I know that that one's definitely there. And then let's see if it spawns any others, or if I get just a bunch of errors. So there's my one. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Um, no, you can't. Let me switch that over. All right, so I have this one fish, which I'm expecting, and I'm not seeing anything spawned. I'm gonna look in the console and see if I'm getting any errors. So no errors in the console. So what I'm gonna do, let me switch back. Okay, it's already switched. Okay, so I'm gonna add just some logging and see what I missed. Do, do, do. So, um, log the spawnable tiles. Yeah, let's see. I'm probably going to go even crazier than that. So, I'm going to add ticker, delay 100. Let's get a lot of fish types. I think it could be a lot of things. Um, oh, you know what it is? No, that's set. Okay. We're going to just start adding a bunch of logging in here. And that's going to be world.log. Okay. So tell me how you do it. Um, what I like to do is literally just, uh, I'll do something like this. Every time there's a return. I put uh, a line after it to log it. Okay. Yeah. I wish there was some toggle we could do where it like just debugged and wrote every line that executed. Um, that should get us the information that we need. 
Coding styles change a lot. You don't have a lot of returns anymore. Um, I'm curious as to why. I guess within the past couple of years, my coding style, I, I the first thing I do in every function is I validate input and constraints, and I and I do early returns right away. That's that's kind of my style lately. Let me uh, switch this over. A lot more functions. Okay. Um, so let's see. That guy's still there. Our trusty little sidekick. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, this is kind of what I was expecting. I'm not seeing... I, I don't think you guys can see this. I'm not seeing any of the lines. The debug lines that I just put in. So let's go back here. None of these were logged. Um... So when is this getting called on tick? This is why right here. I was referencing a non-existent local local variable. <laughs> All right, let's give that another go. Okay, now I'm getting errors uh, in spawn fish. Um, and it's not telling me, let's see, I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So it's getting to four and then there's an error. Um, so there's an error here. Let me look at the resources again. Get diops by region. Let's see. So, I mean, that should be fine. That should be fine. Is this type not valid? I thought this was valid. Yeah, that should be valid. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disable debug. It's supposed to reference a region. Well, it, it does. Um, at least I think it does. So let's see. This is a region. This is a region fishing. And then it's actually going to be in practice one of these. So the first thing I'm passing is is the region type. Oh, do you think it's supposed to reference and not a type of a region, but the actual region itself? It says either a type string containing the type of the region or a reference to the region. All right, I'll try it. You know what, I'm actually just going to switch to a display capture because I don't want to keep switching over. Okay, so no, it does not like that still. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do the disable debug. And see what we get. Cannot read property length of undefined. Okay. Um, not read property length of undefined. I thought I already had a check for that. That's weird because I, I assumed that this would that this piece would prevent that. Let's see. 
Is length not the correct thing? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, let's go for our arrays. It's weird, I'm not seeing it in there. Um, no, it is, it is length, okay. So, I can, I can check if it's null. But then it brings me to the question, which is, um, I'm expecting results, so we'll get we'll get there. I don't think you can have both in the same if. So the I mean the double vertical bars should be a short circuiting uh, boolean operator. So it's supposed to it's supposed to say if the first condition is false, don't check the second condition. That's what that's supposed to do. It's not because it's. But that is the short circuiting operator. Does velocity not do short circuiting operators? Like I do it right here, and this is fine. Oh my gosh, no, you're right, you're right. Okay, um, wait, are you? Let me think. No, if spawnable tiles is null or else the length is bad. No, this should be fine. Um, because if this resolves is true, if it's resolves that it is null, it should go straight to return. No, 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 here's, <laughs> this is the problem. I have a typo right here. It's just the W it's, I said spawn wibble tiles. Okay. So that was fine. Yeah, sometimes I'm, I, I go and I'm like, the, this doesn't work. It doesn't work. Uh, and then it, it's something stupid like that. Change what? Yeah, I changed this back to the way that I want it to be because I, because this will work and I'll, I'll show you that it works. I thought it was still if... No, I changed that. I changed that like to equals equals null. Um, this should be the same result. So if this is not something, return, or if there's no length, return. Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm working on Main Street, a free-to-play online multiplayer RPG tycoon game that's currently in alpha. We're doing an alpha test this weekend. Let me know if you're interested. Right now I am testing uh, some stuff for the fish. We're adding a new fishing feature. So now we're going one, two, three, four, with no errors. But we're not getting past the four. Okay. So let me make sure this is all right. The tile environment. Wait, what? Tile environment water. Okay. And we have tile environment water. Um, maybe I need to pass children. Maybe I need to say that I support the children types. Let's check. The dive by region. Uh, P child, true to include all child dives, false to include only dives. With... Okay, yeah. So we do want to pass true for that because I'm specifying the parent of the actual regions that I'm using. I'm specifying this, which is nothing. I don't use that. I want to get these, which are the children. P type includes it's not a function. Okay, we got further. We got further. <laughs> uh, let's see where that goes. So, wait, where am I even doing includes? Let's get a lot of fish types. That should only be. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, fish last spawn. Regions. Okay, so this isn't going to work. Mm, yeah, it's not going to work if there are none. Let's see. So, no, so I do if not fish last bond regions continue. Then if 
official ad sponsoring. Let's see what I did wrong. So I might just want to change how I'm handling this. I have these spawn regions for the fish and they get set to an array or they get set to just a string. So we're just going to change that so that they're always an array. Um, and we'll do a re that replace. Okay, that should help, but let's take a look at where it was failing there again. So get allowed fish types. This is only supposed to be called once, but it was getting called constantly because it was never finishing. Um, so let's see. Fish allowed spawn regions equals type get variable. Spawn regions, okay. What should, we're just gonna log what we're getting first off. And then we'll take it from there. I'm not getting that log. That's interesting. Let's do. It's moving too fast. Is there a way to stop this? <laughs> we'll just copy it. Close it. Go to Notepad. Okay, so. On fish, da, da, da. P type includes is not a function. The weird thing is I wasn't getting I wasn't getting the log I was expecting. Oh, it was going to five, so that's good. Um, I might not be getting it because this might be null. If you just scroll up a bit, it'll stop scrolling. Okay, I'll try that next time. Let's see. Well, what is Okay, for each fire fish type in all fish types. Fish, okay. It's probably just it's probably getting a parent fish type. Oh, but then that this would resolve and it would continue, so let's see. Let's just do <laughs> or fish allowed spawn regions length or not fish allowed. Uh, we'll just do that. Um, and this isn't the check that we want. We we'll want to do includes all. Okay, that's the weird thing. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm missing in parentheses here. Okay, that's why I was getting screwed up. Okay, but I don't need this check anymore because it's always going to be an array. So this is what we want. Um, that's fine. Okay. Let's try this. No, it's still not happy with that. Let me see where this takes me.
know what? I'm going to turn off the debugger. I'm going to turn off the debugger and see if it gives me something better. Or turn it back on, I mean. Oh, that's, that's much better, actually. <laughs> okay, so includes is not a function on 3.23. So let's check that out. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. He type includes is not a function on line 3.23. Oh, I never, pa I never passed the type of diop that we're spawning. <laughs> I'm trying to spawn a coordinate. I was never looking in the right place. Um, but the way I refactored everything else is still should still be fine and should be better. So um, that should do that. And then let me see what the other thing was. Uh, Three twenty. 307 cannot read property length of undefined. Let's look at that. Uh, if this live fish is not equal to null and this live fish length is do greater than zero. Oh, no. Uh, my problem here is missing of this. Okay. I think we're I think we're at the point where we're gonna go in and we're gonna see a bunch of fish. I'm not totally sure. Hey, we did it. <laughs> okay, now eventually this should stop though. It's supposed to stop. It's not stopping. <laughs> Look at all the fish. Yeah. Yeah, look at all the fish. Okay, that's way too much. <laughs> uh, remind me to clip that because that's kind of funny. Clip the fish. Okay. Um, let's see. So I'm going to take a break because I got a work meeting. But when I come back, I'm going to fix that. And then I'm going to start making the fish move. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna animate the fish so that they aren't always perfectly visible, like they're floating above the water. So we're gonna make them harder to see. Uh, thank you, uh, Ark slash Shuri, and thank you uh, to everybody else who's watching. Uh, we have a form uh, that I'd love for you to fill out. Um, let me see where it is. Right here. I'll throw this to you guys and the. The link to our Discord is in here as well. If you want to test the new fishing feature when it's done, uh, which should be Saturday, uh, we'd love to have you. Thanks for watching, guys.